Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing volume two of Bought It, Forgot It products that I purchased and then uh, just didn't reach for. <laughs> in volume one of this video, I put out quite a few months ago. I'll link it up in the cards if you did miss it, but that one I focused specifically on eyeshadow palettes that I bought and never used. This video, I do have two highlighters and then the rest are eyeshadow palettes, so it is still mostly palettes that I bought and then didn't use or shadows that I bought and didn't use. <laughs> so before we jump into this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this video idea, and if you haven't and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Okay, so let's go through the two highlighters first, and then we'll go through all of the shadows. So the first highlighter is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is the Summer Snow Cone highlighter, and I'm pretty sure I've just swatched this not actually used it. I believe I can use it with a light hand. It is a very gold highlight, but that being said, I haven't used it. <laughs> I, I really don't think I should have purchased two full-sized highlighters because these are gigantic. This is my face and this is the highlight. It's huge. I do have Ice Cold from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I've been using that one and I do enjoy it, but that being said, I doubt I'll ever actually hit pan on it. <laughs> So, uh, not sure I really needed this one, but I did like the shade, and I did hear that you could use it on lighter skin tones, so it's just been sitting in my highlighter drawer. The next highlighter that I'm pretty sure I used, like, once and swatched and then never touched again, this is from Geek Chic Cosmetics, and this is their Moon Tiara Stardust Highlighter. So it's from, like, their Sailor Moon line, and it's just, like, this really nice silver highlighter, but it's a loose highlighter. And if you've been around my channel for a bit, you know I'm not really a huge fan of loose highlighters. They're a bit messy. But this highlighter in particular, like when you actually swatch it out, I don't know if it's popping up on camera, but it's, it's gorgeous. It's really pretty. It just takes a little bit more effort to actually put on because it is loose and it is a bit messy. That being said, I did declutter the rest of my loose highlighters except for this one. So I am holding on to this one. I do love Geek Chic Cosmetics, what I've tried from them so far, and I do want to do another video on them once uh, I can actually pick up more products from their site. So I did want to hold on to this just so I could use it in that next video, but being a loose highlighter, no matter how pretty it is, I haven't been reaching for it. All right, before we jump into the palettes, I actually have two loose shadows that I totally forgot about. And they're from Colourpop. Remember when Colourpop came out with just loose shadows, right? They have like a new product out every week and this one, I feel like it was hot for two seconds and then everyone forgot about them. So I do have the loose shadows. This one still has its like plastic coat on it, but it's still, I still have shadow everywhere. So didn't do that great of a job. So I had the green shade and then I had the shade Honey Pot, which is like the silver. I believe I tried to use the silver, but again, there's still the plastic coating on this. I just think loose products are, they are, they are more difficult to work with just because of, you know, the fact that they're loose. I personally prefer using pressed shadows, and even then, I still use a glitter glue on my lid because of how hooded my eyes are and how difficult it is to keep anything on my lid. And... On an everyday basis, I'm not reaching for like these more difficult loose highlighters, these loose shadows, you know. So I, I do need to reach for these because I did pick out two colors that I like. I really want to do a Slytherin lookbook video. I think that'd be fun. I got green and silver, but so it, that'll be here at some point. <laughs> All right, the first palette that I bought and forgot is from Marc Jacobs. This is another one of the Style Icon palettes. I purchased this like halfway through my Pan That palette because I was liking the formula of the palette so much and I wanted to have another one. And of course, I picked up the one with the green. <laughs> so this is the Style Icon palette in Editorial. And so we have like some neutral shades down here. We have a shimmery green, we have a matte green, we have a gold, and then this is kind of like a, a shimmery, what are you? Like a taupey, a green taupey kind of shade. Uh, they're so soft and buttery, and I love the formula, considering I spent a whole year panning the formula, but I bought this and didn't want to dip in until I had finished the first Marc Jacobs palette, so it's been sitting in my drawer for a while, and I still haven't touched it. I do want to do maybe a tutorial, maybe a look, but 
I am trying to focus on my new Pan That palette, which is Subculture. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. So I feel like I'll get into this palette a little bit more as the year progresses if I ever need a break from Subculture. You know, I know that I like this formula and I like the shades in here. So it's going to be a good go-to palette, but not right now and not since I purchased it. The next palette that I bought and forgot is from ColourPop. Again, a lot of most of this is ColourPop. This is the Wet palette. So this is from the Bretman Rock and ColourPop collab, and this is the Blue palette. I don't even think I swatched this. I felt like I purchased it, I put it on my vanity, and I was like, I'll do a video with it. And then I didn't, and then I put it in my drawer, and it sat there until I took this video. The shades in here are really pretty, but... Mm, I don't know what it is. I haven't been feeling reaching for my ColourPop palettes recently. I will break this out at some point and use it because I do like the blue shades. It is very, very pretty, but I just, uh, I don't know. I feel like I bought this because I liked the, the, the idea of this palette and not like the actual palette. All right, and the last two palettes that I bought and forgot are from the same brand, and I bought them because I wanted to do a video about the brand, and I never got to it, so they still, I haven't even opened these palettes. These are both from Profusion Cosmetics. The first one is the Big Temptress palette, and the second one is the Wanderlust palette, and this one I, I like a lot better. I think the shadow, these look gorgeous. Like This color story looks really nice, and the brush in here doesn't actually look half bad but that I can't really say anything about it because I've not dipped into it you still have the plastic sheet on top of both of these palettes so I do want to use both of these palettes I am debating whether I want to pick up a couple more perfusion products and then do like a full or as full of a face as I can with them or if I should just try out both of them and then do a review I need to do something with them because they've just been sitting in my drawer I'm not getting any use <laughs> So those are all of my more recent products that I bought and forgot and have just been uh, sitting in my drawer like sad little shadows because I haven't used them. I am going to work on using them. My last video, all the palettes that I hadn't used, I did bring out and I did use all of those palettes. So I'm hoping to do the same thing with all these products. I really want to do this more often, go through my collection, see what I'm not reaching for, see what I just recently purchased that I'm not touching, and use everything because there's no reason for me to be buying stuff if I've got stuff in my collection that I actually haven't even used yet. Thank you so much for watching. Hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.